What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mia Plays Skull Monkeys. What's up? Um, so I've been playing this game wrong the whole time. <coughs> Excuse me. I just found out there's a run button. How many levels are you in? Like four? <laughs> yeah. Every time we sit down to play this game, I always forget to do my amiibos. But then usually after we record these episodes, we go lay down. Oh. And I know you're not going to let me bring like 20 amiibos into bed. Mm, nah. Oh. Oh, was that you asking? <laughs> no. Because I have to put them all back and I know I'm not going to do that. And then you're going to yell at me. So it's just your laziness preventing you from bringing the amiibos. Yay! <gasps> I mean, I could just sit there real quick and oh. knock them out, but... Eh. Okay, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Worry about what? Uh, Me little... bringing 20 amiibos in the bed? No, I don't okay. care about that. Well, I do care Oh, you don't that. care? Please don't. Um, it's recording. Oof. So those are still... Those are just skull monkeys with jetpacks? I'm just stoked about this run button, man. Is it really going to be that helpful? Yeah, I'm sure, sure there's a... Didn't seem helpful there. Jumps that I can't make without it. Okay. I like that one. <laughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> uh, uh, it uh, didn't help me. Nope. What the hell is that thing? Uh, how am I supposed to make that now? I think you gotta wait for those things to come out. Oh. Yeah, there you go. No, I think you gotta jump on them. Yeah. There you go. Platforming 101. I feel like within the year, we gotta play some kicks. Enter the gecko. You don't even like that game, though. I love that game. You used to play it all the time. Oh. I don't know why it reminds me of this. Maybe the music? Mm, not even close. Gex had some pretty good music. I need to find out what the better version is. I think it's a PS2. Uh, definitely. Or not the PS2. PS2. PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, t t PlayStation. The 64, uh, no music. They cut out a lot of the voice. Did that come up for anything else? Um, I don't think so. My friend had it. We never had much games growing up. Those are like the same thing. Who? Yeah. Oh, come on. Always the same game. Gex. Gex International? Gex Pro? Gex Energy Login? Gexa Energy? I think that there's a Game Boy game too, but. Oh, I'm sure that was horrible. No, it's good. Okay, so there was Gex. Then four years later, it was Gex Enter the Gecko. And then a year later, it was Gex 3. Oh, Deep no! Cover oh, how am I supposed to get that? Yeah, it's going for like 30 bucks right now. What? Uh, the first Gex. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> I've discovered this run button to up my game. What killed me? Oh, there's something. Uh, there's just a little eggy. Um. I don't get it. Are you supposed to jump on that guy? Yeah, it shows a little thing right there. Okay. So something There's no way you can... Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, okay. So all the platforms came out for it. 3DO, Game Boy Color, Microsoft Windows. N64, PlayStation, Sega Saturn. Does it tell me? Oh. So the first one got better rankings on the 3DO. And then PC. And then Sega Saturn. Oh my god. And then PlayStation with the worst ratings. So we gotta get a 3DO. Right. How much are 3DOs? Mm, I think like 150 no. Really? 100 bucks. That doesn't seem that expensive. I think the last time we went into Game and Trade, where was 100 bucks? 
Did I have one? Huh? Game and trade or fair games? Game and trade. I pointed it out to you, but you tend to not pay attention. When Pre-owned Panasonic 3DO. 16 games. 280. Well, 16 games. 3DO game expensive? I don't know. Let's see what they got. Foes of Ali. Demolition Man. Oh, man. Crime Patrol. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, you're, you're right. Like 130, 125. Of course I'm right. 230 with some games. I don't know how much the games go for, or even what's. Dang it. Oh, is that Gex? It is Gex. Was there more than one Gex? I didn't say there was. Let's see. Show me the games. I like how people put, um, like it comes for a smoke-free environment, and when I buy stuff used, that's like one thing I never think of. Really? Yeah. Ever think, huh, I wonder if this came from a smoke-free environment. Uh, definitely think about that. Do you? Yeah, because if it's like in a smoke, oh, god damn it, a smoke environment, then the smoke is gonna like get, ugh. On the, say if it's a cartridge, it's gonna get in there, it's gonna wear it out, it's gonna have like residue all over it. It gets disgusting, depending on how bad. I guess that makes sense. No, oh, dang. Um, From a, a collector's view standpoint, yeah, that's probably what their train of thought is. Gex is like 30 bucks for the 3DO. It's not too bad. Have it for the, <laughs> the 64 and the PlayStation. Do we have it for 64? Mm-hmm. Oh, we have one of them. <coughs> so I was reading Yahoo News. I don't know why. Ugh. I just read it sometimes. Goodness gracious. Do you know what article they had posted on there? Um, Breath of the Wild? John Tron. Yes, and yes. But, that's not what I'm talking about. Oh, but thanks for reminding me about John Tron. <laughs> Someone posted a picture in one of the comment sections on uh, Kotaku. Right. I forgot what article it was because they've written like five articles about John Tron's thing. Man, people are um, really involved in that yeah. this, Someone this situation. Someone posted a picture in the comment section. Of Dan eating cheese nips, and I guess John Tron had left them after like a panel, and I guess Game Grumps came up next. <laughs> and then someone put, uh, they said something about like not not trusting someone or not liking someone because they uh, they eat cheese nips instead of Cheez Its, and it made me laugh because I've only tried cheese nips once. Thinking they were exactly like Cheez Its and they're not, they're fucking disgusting. Yeah, they're pretty fucking gross. So uh, now that's like gonna be a criteria of when I meet someone. My mom loves them though. Like, hey, Cheez Its or Cheese Nips? And if they choose Cheese Nips, I'm pretty sure I can't be their friend. My mom loves them. Really? Mm hmm. Might be a. Old over Cheez Nips or over Cheez Its oh. though? Like, if I had a box of Cheez Its and a box of Cheese Nips. Is she going to eat the cheese its first or the cheese nips? We should try this experiment. I like, have not no tell her and just give her two boxes. <laughs> Aren't uh, cheese nips uh, cheaper? Like, the, I think the so. Cheaper brand? That's probably why she she buys them. They definitely taste like it. They're disgusting. People love them, though. But people love disgusting things. Yes. Would not be the first time. Is there anything else like that? Cheese nips are kind of like brand name. Huh. What do you mean? Like everyone knows cheese nips and cheese its. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. Goldfish? Is there a generic one? For, I don't know a generic one for goldfish that's like uh. popular. Um, fish crackers? <laughs> oh, don't think I've ever heard too of that. fast. Where's my ma? Ooh, we got three lives. You got two lives. 
<laughs> uh, where's my mob bird? This has to be the end of the level. Do you think so? Yeah. This little stretch. <laughs> These little balls came out. I'll talk about them like that. That's true. Ooh, you can do it! Get that one right there. <laughs> mm. I hit the jump button, I swear I did. Getting kind of ballsy with that jump. It's not ballsy, it's just I've done it so many freaking times by now. I want to know what that stuff is. Is it hot dog? It's gotta be hot dog, right? Um, but like, what's this like log oh. thing? Looks like meat, maybe slabs of vegetables. There's no vegetables in hot dogs. Oh, I don't know. It kind of looks like a root when it comes all the way up. But I'm having a fun time with this game. So is it official? Do you like spam? Mm. So I know you guys don't know this, but when I first met Mia, she was completely grossed out by the fact that I like spam. It's not fantastic. And she yeah, didn't like, like spam? It looks like a root. Yeah. But then I got her eating some. And sometimes when you go to the store, she's like, you want some spam? And I know that she really wants it. <laughs> no, I buy it for you. Yeah. Because every time I used to put it in the cart, you used to get grossed out. Right. But now you don't mind. Like, oh, you want me to make some, it makes some eggs and spam? I actually well, yes, I would love that, actually. Sacrifice myself, my own personal. Oh, ma! Too Almost. bad you only have one more life. Can I mention that? Oh. You gotta come out of the water? Mm. Oh, oh. Nice. I think, I think your hitbox is horrible. Not horrible. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, to answer your question, no, I don't like spam. Mm, I find that hard to believe. Because if I remember correctly, we'll, we're going to go to Costco, and you looked up the coupons beforehand, right. and you're like, hey, spam's on sale. It was Do you on want sale. some? Well, you Which means, <laughs> no. because it's coming from Costco, you know we're going to get a shitload. I forgot how many cans it was when we actually went. I think it was, it was, it was eight. Like, was it eight cans of spam for five bucks? No. Or it, 15 bucks? Yeah, that's a deal. I think it was something like that. It was on sale. Which is partly why I wanted it. Because I like sales. That's like two bucks a can. Which it's like three it's less bucks. Than two bucks a can. Three f something? No, that two. was 16? Oh, no. And that's the end of this episode of Mia Plays Skull I Monkeys. Had it. You're doing so good. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.